What is up guys, I cry over spilt milk here and what did I do last weekend on the 30th of September 2023? No, I didn't go to a comic con this time, but you're close. I went to the Tugs, the exhibition at, at the Midland Railway, starting at Butterley Station in Derbyshire off the B6179 between Alfreton and Ripley. And if you're unfamiliar with those, Let's go with it's between Derby and Mansfield. Starting at Busley train station, which is on a heritage heritage railway, meaning it's not on the rail network as a route anymore, we saw an unsuspecting old railway carriage, which was actually a treasure trove of tugs and Thomas the Tank Engine merchandise. Now, for those of you um, those of you who are unfamiliar with tugs, it was a British live action children's animation composing of 13 15 minute episodes uh, which which broadcast on ITV in 1989 as you can see the episodes were released on VHS video in English Japanese and Finnish some of the models used in tugs were reused in Thomas the Tank Engine and some of the tugs footage was reused in the American TV program Salty's Lighthouse which Broadcast in 1997 in the US. Then, taking a five minute train journey from Swanwick Junction, we got to the main part of the exhibition. I thought it odd to find a church at a train station. So, we have a music of a uh, church here. <laughs> What's in the church? What are we, what are we worshipping today? Tugs. So we've got the uh, fire tug here. And hey, it's Sea Rogue. And I think um, Sea Rogue and um, Blue Nose were swapped out, weren't they? Got Boomer. I thought we remember the different hat though. Loads of a. Well, I've got the church over here. The pulpit. Chapel. Someone, uh, someone going on with OJ, I think. Yeah. I think, um, I think someone's working on OJ or. Oh, here's Hercules and Sunshine. It's amazing how quite small they are, really. Hercules. And scared by the ghost of All the, uh, Grampus. Well, is meant to go here, but he's obviously not here yet. Top Hat. I think Top Hat is lost. Turk, please. Warrior. And then we got, uh, Big Mac. And that's it. Ah yes, a couple dresses as a top hat and lily light ship to finish. This event was made possible by the Tugs, the exhibition group, who have purchased most of the Tug models and they maintain the models so they can be exhibited and can be enjoyed for generations to come. I guess the train carriage we saw earlier is their museum. Now where are those Z stacks? Better up to no good no doubt. Anyway, let's go to the cafe and refresh. So, so I've got Zor and he's a bit fire, must have been fire singed or something, or I don't know. Oh, that's all there, isn't it? Yeah, looks like it's. This is the moving face of when he's operational. I see. The face that's secure on him. Because that face only has one clip, the one he came with. I see, he must be very fragile now too. It's not the most flattering expression. 
Yeah. Oh, I like Zebedee. Got Zoran moving around. Uh. Zip and Zug. Or Zach. Zug. Zug's not here at the moment. I think. And I think that's all the I think that's the controls they use for the uh the um to control the ships. That's right, yeah, they're the original ones. Oh wow, the original ones. That's, that's how they used to move them. Yeah. So it's like some of Robot Wars, and I see that you had the same similar sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, got Blake, and Burke and Blair, that's it. Oh, there's Billy Shoe Pack, you're asking about him. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I love this series as a boy, and oh boy, what a childhood you wouldn't have these wacky tugs on children's TV anymore with pimps, gangsters, and Mexican bandito trawlers. You'd better watch out. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe.